Welcome to May, the month of Mary. This is WQPH 89.3 FM, Shirley Fitchburg, Queen of Perpetual Help, and welcome to another edition of Local Matters. On this week's broadcast, we bring you an important interview. Our own Mary Ann is interviewing Edwin Alderado of Catholic Imprints about an upcoming event, Signs of God, and that is coming up with Tim Francis in New Bedford from May 22nd to the 24th. And without further ado, here is our own Mary Ann with Edwin Alderado. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome once more to Local Matters. I have a very holy and dedicated evangelizer that you're going to be talking to today and praying for. His name is Edwin Alderado, and I know he started this group called Catholic Imprints. So we'll be talking about that and about his latest venture, which is bringing Tim Francis, who we interviewed a few shows back. There's a lot of excitement coming because his event is coming up. So now I want to introduce you to Edwin, who is really on fire, Christian, Catholic. Tell us, Edwin, what makes you tick? Why are you so on fire for God? And you started the Catholic Imprint group. Tell us about that, if you want now or later, and about your latest project. Well, I'll, I'll give you a synopsis of my life and the faith. Uh, I converted into Catholic Church about 34 years ago. I had been married for 30 years, had three beautiful children, four grandchildren. My wife and I minister in our parish as catechist, youth group coordinator. We have lived the Crucio marriage encounter for the past 15 years. We have organized pilgrimage to many different Catholic shrines. Currently, I am the president of the Presidium of our parish Legion of Mary and very much involved in evangelizing. Beautiful. And so your latest uh, adventure is to bring Tim Francis here. What made you do this? Well, I attended the Worcester Catholic Men's Conference in April of last year, and one of the speakers scheduled to talk was Tim Francis. And up to that point, I did not know him or even heard of him. In this talk, he spoke briefly about his mom, his upbringing, how he lost his purpose and meaning in college, and how he found his way back to the Catholic Church. That talk left an impression on me, and at the same time, a yearning to listen to more. And it's funny how the Lord works. After Tim's talk, he came down from the stage and sat about five seats away from me, to which I jumped at the opportunity to approach and establish a conversation. We spoke about the mission work he carries out in parishes across the nation, and that planted the seed for me to try to get him to our parish. We exchanged phone numbers, and we went out separate ways. At that time, who I had in mind to invite to our parish was Catholic speaker Jesse Romero. The impact left in my soul, and Everyone else at the men's conference was unique and immense. I was just filled of grace, filled of the Holy Spirit. And at that moment, we decided we would go with St. Francis. After a few weeks and receiving the blessing from our pastor, I reached out to Tim to set up a date, time for him to come visit our parish. The enormous blessing came as a confirmation when a couple of weeks after setting the date and time with Tim, the United States Catholic Conference of Bishops had announced a three-year National Eucharistic Revival. I felt then, as I strongly do today, that our Lord wanted this event to take place. Yes, it seems that way. In fact, even the way he sat a few seats away from you, this was all engineered by the Holy Spirit. That is correct. And, I believe so. Yes, and you had the sense to do that, to follow up on it, to immediately try to engage him and set up a date and then pray about it. So why would they want to come? What will they see and experience? Can you talk about that? Sure. Today, and no matter where you turn your head, everything you see and hear is crisis. Crisis in our society, crisis at home, in the family, in the church, the schools, you name it. In our culture of today, less than 1% of Catholic goes to confession on a regular basis. According to the 2019 Pew Research, 7 out of 10 Catholics do not believe Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist. That is very alarming. We don't have to go far to realize that the media has been polluting our children's souls for years by grabbing their attention. So what Tim Francis is doing is he's using supernatural things, mystical phenomena that have happened all over the world to grab people's attention with the purpose of leading them back to the truth of the Eucharist. See, we live in a culture that says, I believe it when I see it. Many Catholics, including our young, have lost their identity 
purpose and meaning in life. This event presents itself as an enormous opportunity to convert or revert. This event is open for everyone, especially for practicing Catholics, non-practicing Catholic, former Catholic, youth, and never Catholic. The greatness of this event is that there is no charge to attend. It's free. We only ask for a free will donation, and it's up to you. We plan it this way because from the very beginning, we noticed the hands of our Lord in every step of the way. There is no way we could shun people away from living what I promise will be the true life experience. The sitting capacity at St. Anthony of Colorado is 1,700. The event is for three days, May 22nd to the 24th. It begins at 6 p.m. with a recitation of the Most Holy Rosary, followed by Tim's presentation. You don't need to attend all three days since the presentation is the same each night. So you choose one evening to attend. And the first night, coincidentally, is St. Rita of Kasha, the saint of the mm. impossible. So I, mm-hmm. I know in one of your flyers it says how Tim, and he said it to me when we interviewed him, told a woman that her son could be converted who only went to Mass on Easter and on Christmas. She could only get him to the event, and he did that, and she did it. And I was just reading this to the woman that called me a few minutes ago to say she wanted to come. She's in Still River, and she has people that want to come. So we said, Miriam, if we have enough people, we have a bus that will pick up people and um, take them to New Bedford if they can't drive. So if you're listening out there and you want to go to this wonderful, what is the name of the event so they know what the event is and what they're going to see? The name of the event is Science from God, Miracles and Their Meaning. Science, Test, Faith. And what are they going to see? Well, the people who attend will experience how several well-documented miracles stand up to the scientific investigation and discover what implications these miracles have for you. You will also listen to Tim's personal testimony, from altar boy to potty boy, from non-denominational megachurch back to the Roman Catholic Church. Tim Francis shares us with his quest for truth. During the live presentation, you will hear and see a statue of Christ weeping human tears and bleeding human blood. Several Eucharistic miracles where the bread transform into living hot tissue to show that Jesus Christ is alive in the Holy Eucharist. A lady living today, not in the 16 or 1700, but today, a modern time, who receives the wounds of Christ, while receiving messages from Jesus and Mary, you will witness her stigmata. The other question is that whether bad things happen to good people, and much more. Amazing. So are these shown on a video screen? It will have a big screen, and the people will get to see what's going on the screen. And uh, while Tim is doing his presentation, at the same time he will be talking about his revert back into the Catholic Church. And uh, it's a phenomenal experience. Yes, and how long does it last? Well, uh, it, we stated from 6.30 to 9 o'clock. There will be an intermission in between. Uh, I figure you have people sitting down for such a long time. We'll give them a little break, and then we'll get back in a, and end it from there. And does he take questions? Yes, he does. That towards the end of the presentation. Okay, so you all listening have an idea of how you could go all three nights if you don't get it all on the first night. And I, I really can't wait for this. Now, do you have a website where people, if you could say it very slowly, where people could go to and get a preview? Well, the preview, you can either go to www.stanthonynewbedford.com, which is the parish website, and we have his post and all the links at the website. So the easiest way to get to it is by entering into St. Anthony of Pablo and New Bedford's website, www. St. Anthony, New Bedford.com. Okay, and then where do people park? There'll be several areas where to park. So it's important for those who are interested, and then they're coming either by themselves uh, to give us a call at 508-993-1691. That's 508-993-1691. And we will provide you with all the parking areas and the addresses so that you can just go from there. Okay, that's very good. Now, is there any bus transportation there from Boston, let's say? Oh, Boston, I don't know. But from the areas where we are having parking, some of them are quite a few distance away, walking distance away from the parish. So we are offering 
a bus, a shuttle. A they shuttle bus. From the, from the uh, parking location into the church, and at the end of the event, we'll bring you right back into the parking location. Wonderful, wonderful. At no, no and, cost. No, wow, you're very generous to do that. So give us again that number of people should call and register so they can be assured of getting on that shuttle bus. It's 508-993-1691. Okay. Now, I don't have a good memory, so I couldn't repeat that back. Could you repeat it one more time? <laughs> That's 508 993 Okay. So now let's talk a little bit more about the background of Tim Francis. Can you talk a little bit about his background? Sure. Uh, one of the ways that God brings people back to faith and restore their faith is through miracles. Knowing this, Tim Francis, the founder of You Shall Believe Ministry, has conducted more than 500 scientist fed parish missions to reignite the faith of non-practicing Catholics, bring non-Catholic faith, and give practicing Catholics the tools needed to help loved ones return to the Church. Tim is a Catholic and nationally known speaker who works tirelessly to bring the truth of our faith by means of presenting compelling, faith-filled, and passionate video evidence of the real presence of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist and his own personal conversion story. He is a man on fire and a man on a mission to bring everyone to the source and summit, the heart and soul of our faith. That is Jesus' real presence and the most blessed sacrament of the altar. Beautiful, beautiful. I think someone was just calling now to get more information, but we'll have to call that person back. So... <laughs> uh, So I think you have a story to tell us, too, about a mother and a son who wasn't going to church. Yes, I do. Okay, could you share that? Sure can. One of the the mothers of a child who attended one of the uh, missions of Tim Francis uh, that evening, uh, she went home overwhelmed um, by the presentation that she went with one thing and one thing in mind to try to convince her son to go to the following night to the talk. Literally, she had to pay him or offer to pay him $100 just to try to convince him to go. Wow. And the son took the $100, but he did end up going. Eventually, after going to that mission and hearing Tim, he returned home convinced, converted, and returned the $100 back to his mom because he was so moved that from that moment on, he realized all the wrong and damage that he had done. And, and so he completely did a turnaround, and now he is completely into the Catholic Church. Amazing. Didn't he send you a note, or Tim a note? He sent Tim a note saying that he was thankful for the presentation and for the talk, um, that there was a lot of things that he did not understand in regards to the Catholic faith, and that evening Tim managed to put everything in perspective, and that it was a great help to convince him that God is truly present in the Eucharist. So if you are a parent and uh, you have a, probably an adult, I think he was 36, this person, mm-hmm. uh, you have someone, that you, it's just breaking your heart. A woman just before you were doing this radio show came to my door and was telling me these terrible stories about what's happening in her family and what someone is doing to get attention, cutting herself, and how the mothers don't believe in their faith anymore, even though she brought them up. And she's crying her eyes out. Just before I say, this is the Holy Spirit saying to me, this is going on in so many families out there. If you have a family out there like this, where your heart is broken to see where our children, adult children, grandchildren are going, nephews, nieces, it's a horror show. It, this is the most important work you could be doing, Edwin. Really. Like I mentioned before, that there's a crisis, and no matter where you turn your head, there's a crisis everywhere. You name it, and it seems that more and more people are taking God out of the equation, and when you take God out of the equation, that vacuum is filled by someone else, and that someone else is the one that we don't want in our life. So the only way that that's going to be turned around is in the measure that we return to God. Yes. We, we need to return to God, and we need to return. And if we have hurt in our heart, if we don't know how to forgive, whatever it is, we have to learn how to bypass all that, and we need to seek God, because without Him, we are lost. And That's this right. is a great opportunity for every parent out there who has, may be struggling with their children, or husband, or, or vice versa, husband with wife, 
bring them in. Bring them into this experience. You have three days. So if you can't make it one day, you can choose the second and then the third. It's available for that reason. That's why we decided to do it three days, to give everybody in the state of Massachusetts and beyond this, the opportunity to come listen to this talk. Yes. And I'm looking here, I'm looking at your flyer, which is very beautiful. Tim Francis presents Signs from God, Miracles and Their Meanings. Comment on that, please, Edwin. What does he mean? Uh, but that's basically his presentation. Yeah. He's going to be talking of the fact that, that the one that initiated this investigation was a, a Catholic who had stopped going to the church at a very young age was completely out of the church, and he was given the task to go and investigate some of these miracles that were taking place at that time. He contacted a doctor and a scientist, to which both had no belief in God. And it's important to say that the, the radical change that they all experienced, once they began to get into the investigation, scientific evidence, they pointed all to the fact that Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist. So if it did it to those who were scientists and adults, and it did it to Tim's life, because that experience what was the change of Tim's life, it would happen to everyone else who attend to this event. Wow. What a great um, gift God is giving us to have this ability to go there and go home the next night, as you said, and get more people to come there that need to have this transformation of their of faith. We all know them. We all know them. Some of them come to church, but they really need that transformation, which uh, they would have there, right? Especially about the Eucharist. I mean, we just had this horrible thing happen here in Boston. I'm sure you're aware of it with that Satan Com conference. And we were a wreck thinking they're going to come into our church and take our Blessed Sacrament or our monstrance. And what good came from it? And I know so much good's going to come from this great event in New Bedford on the 22nd through the 24th is a lot of good. People came to adoration more than ever. They were praying. They were frightened about what could happen. So I see that is what's going to happen from this, and especially in your area of New Bedford. What is the name of your pastor? He's a wonderful man to, to have welcomed this. Uh, Father Father Mariano Barella. Um, he is from the Institute of the Incarnate Word, the religious order, uh-huh. um, and and we love him as a pastor. What is that order? I never heard of that. Institute of the Incarnate Word. Uh, in Spanish, is Instituto Carne uh, El Verbo Encarnado. It is a Spanish order from Argentina. Beautiful, beautiful. It's, it's fairly new. They probably get about twenty three years of existence. So he's very open to doing things like what you're doing there. He's a very holy man, very holy man. The whole order is pretty much a holy order. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So maybe, yeah. is he going to be there those nights? Yeah, he can't wait to uh, welcome everybody himself. That is amazing. I want to meet him, really. Uh, maybe yeah. he'll do an interview with us. Is, is he sure. bilingual? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Because yes, I think yes. we have a lot of Spanish people that need to hear it from someone that really is living the life like he is. So Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that little side show there. Maybe I'll bring the recorder and do it down there. So what advice, how do people promote this now that have heard about it? What's the best thing for someone listening to share this information? Uh, I I would highly recommend, um, look, What's happening here in, in our diocese, the Four River, and not just in New Bedford, but in the Four River Diocese, and, and this is where I tell you that the hand of God has been in, in the whole process. The word has gone now to the point where we are getting calls from everywhere, from all, all over, and, and they are asking for flyers or posters so that not only they can hand out, hand up in their parish, but they're going out into other parishes and doing it just. Basically, they're doing the work for us. And, and this is this is tremendous, a, a gift from God, because we did not expect that. We did not expect that. So I would recommend that if they want to fly out, they want a poster, just give us a call and we'll mail it. Or I'll personally bring it up to you if need be. And because the purpose of this is spreading the word as, as far as we can. Um, okay. We, how I, do I, they I, reach you, uh, Edwin? 
by calling the same number that I just provided at Detroit, which is 508-993-1691. The person who would answer the phone, her name is Anna, and she's my wife. She's the secretary. So just let them know that you heard you heard um, the radio and you're calling in regards to that because you would like to request a post or a flyer, and I'll get it to you. Whether it's email or whatever, uh, we'll get it to you. That's awesome, too. So what we're doing here now is we're taking pictures on our cell phones, and then we're texting it to a lot of people and asking them to text it out, too. We have a blue alert, too, where people call us when they're in an emergency need for prayer. So this we has three or four different chains of 30 people. So everyone should start one of these blue alert things with your cell phone, but you have to be willing to answer it like sometimes in the middle of the night, or text back to someone who's in a crisis. But that would be a great way to take a picture. You have two different flyers. The first one says, Do you believe in miracles? Seeing is believing. Is that mm-hmm. flyer A? Mm-hmm. And the second one is, Tim Francis presents signs from God, miracles right. in their meaning. That's flyer two. Right. That's flyer two. So you could request one of each and see what people are attracted to. You could have two pictures on your text and text two flyers out. You would be able to text somebody those flyers, right? I can't. Yes, I can't. Now, the other thing, does one of the posters of flyers that you have in front of you has a QR code? Yeah. Okay, so if if anybody has a smartphone and you put your camera, don't snap the photo, just put your camera on top of that QR code, you will see a web link show up on your phone, hit on, click on it, and it will bring you directly into the preview of Tim Francis' preview. Wow. Very clever. What is this modern miracle called? The, the modern miracle is technology. Technology. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That's beautiful. And then there's another little red thing here that says presentation each night. I see. Choose one. Choose one, so mm-hmm. they should come to one. So right. they, they can come to all three if they like. I mean, but eventually, all we, all you need to do is live once, and you live the experience. Right. So again, let's recap the highlights of some things that you will see in here at the presentation. Go ahead. Several Eucharistic okay, so miracles. Yeah. You will see um, the statue of Christ weeping human tears and bleeding human blood. Several Eucharistic miracles where the bread transforms into living heart tissue to show that Jesus Christ is alive in the Eucharist. And a lady, a modern lady of today, living today, who receives the wounds of Christ while receiving messages from Jesus and Mary, you will witness her stigmata, that and much more. All right. Is, her, is she from South America? She is. She is. Uh, a little bit of her story, is, yeah, tell and I don't want to go too much into it, but a little bit of it is that one day she uh, was running late to Mass, and when she got into Mass, all she did was have enough time to sit down and just the Mass began. At that particular moment, she heard a sweet voice of Our Lady talking to her and say, I want you to pay attention to everything that the grace is allowing you to see that's taking place during this Mass because it's going to be up to you to go out to the world and let the world know what is exactly taking place in Mass and what many people are missing out on the Mass. So she was given that grace to see the the guiding angels of each person sitting against, you know, right next to uh, each person, the transubstantiation that took place during the Mass, how heaven and earth and um, purgatory came together at that moment, she was given that grace to see all that. Later on in life, she is given the enormous blessing of the stigmatas, and that's all that will be shown there. Tim will talk more about that. Can you say her name? I prefer to have it be a surprise when we get there. Her name? No, her name is Catalina Rivas. Okay. And they, they mention as Katia, as Catalina Rivas. So if anybody wants to go into the website and look her in, Catalina Rivas. Um, and just put uh, stigmatas and she will show up. Yeah, can you, would you mind just spelling that name? Catalina, C A T A L I N A. Catalina. Rivas is R I V as in Violet, A S. Beautiful. Well, God has sent us a great blessing in you, Edwin, and your wife, Anna. 
I've had the grace to meet you and work with you. And uh, God now is asking us again for us to spread the news of this event that can change so many lives. I hope you're listening. I hope you're going to come and tell us to other people. That's what we are, the little birds that spread the faith. Any final thoughts, Edwin? Uh, I just want to read a, a passage of Scripture, if I may. Sure. From the Second of Chronicles 7, 14. Second Chronicles 7, 14. And the Lord says, If my people who are called by name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Wow. Well, you've heard it all now. It's all in everybody's court. Pray and discern if you're meant to come, and I hope you are. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you for the opportunity. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. If there was just some proof, I would believe it. Is that your view on religion? St. Anthony of Padua Parish in New Bedford wants you to know God still speaks to us today through signs and miracles, real events that you can witness with your own eyes. Facts that have no natural scientific explanation. Come and see for yourself as evangelist Tim Francis presents the evidence of miracles and their powerful effect on your faith. Hello, my name is Tim Francis, and wow, do I got a story to tell you. I get to travel the country telling the greatest story that hardly anybody has heard. In fact, when I first heard this, I said, why is this not on Oprah? Why is this not on Larry King? Why isn't it on Pierce Morgan? This is the story of a famous TV journalist who along with a scientist and an attorney filmed and recorded what has never been filmed in the history of mankind. All three were atheists. All three are now devout Roman Catholics who travel the world showing that science can definitely validate faith. In Tim's presentation, you'll hear about and see film documentation of miracles. You're gonna witness the lady experience the wounds of Jesus Christ and a modern person. This is not 1300 years ago, today. You're gonna witness this. You're gonna see a statue of Jesus Christ that cries and bleeds. And you're gonna witness a piece of wheat bread that turns into living heart tissue. All of this has tremendous meaning. There's a message behind every miracle. Stir up your faith with signs from God, miracles and their meaning at St. Anthony of Padua Catholic Church in New Bedford, May 22nd through the 24th, from 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Same presentation, three evenings. There is no charge. For more information, call 508-993-1691 or go to stanthonynewbedford.com. Thank you for listening to another edition of WQPH's Local Matters. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast and hope you have a blessed week.